I think every one of us likes small discoveries. And here, outside in the for into the forest, all of us can find something new and exciting to see or hear. And I hope you can appreciate and hear all the wonderful sounds of the birds chirping all around us. This is a spruce forest and all around us we find these spruce cones and the bird i'm looking for today it loves to eat the seeds from this one so i keep a sharp eye using my binocular looking from the top of the tree all the way down to the bottom here to try to see if i can find it It's not so easy to find because the, bee, the forest is big, the bird is very small, but uh, lucky for us it, uh, it's uh, not so shy, so we are supposed to come very close to it. So that is what I am hoping for. I brought with me my big lens, so here is the lens I think I can film with today. 500 millimeter and then I have a two times extender so this is a Nikon lens and together with the black magic camera that I'm filming right now that's what we're gonna film with so I'm not going to take any photos or anything but uh, I'm gonna try and film so since I'm filming no stabilization or anything the bird need to sit still and I need to film it and of course I need to find it first. So now I just need to pack, walk a little bit, and then I think we will find the bird I'm looking for somewhere over there. The willow tit, so beautiful, small little tit, and here, very close to us, that's where we find it. And lucky for us, this is a little bit docile and easy to approach little bird. And if you look for it, it can be sometimes here into the underground, but uh, very often you will find it all the way up into the top of the uh, trees where it is eating on the cones. The problem with the uh, willow tit is that it, uh, the population had been declining for many years. Or well, ever since 1970, 1970, that's the year I was born. So it has been in decline ever since that.
And one of the reasons they think that it's um, declining in population is uh, forests like this are being logged more and more all over Europe and then other species like the great uh, spotted woodpecker is also um, coming in and taking over some of the areas where the willow tit is. If you are very good with sound uh, sounds, then I suggest that you learn the will willow tit's song. Then you can easily e separate that one from the marsh tit, because these two have very different sounds. But I'm, I'm not good at uh, identifying songs for any birds, so for me, it's just looking and looking at my bird books that I always bring with me. So bird books uh, like this is a super way to bring with you into the forest. At least then you have a reference and can read a little bit more of the bird and try to find what type it is. And there it flew off. So, very, very lucky today at least. I got a beautiful trip and small adventure into the forest. I hope you also enjoy this short little video and I think in a few days, maybe a weeks, I will be back with another video. Until next time, you take care and we see each other next time. Bye-bye.